Yes, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life. We can give thanks for all good things around us. Ascend from Zion above, so we praise for our praise for our for his divine love. Give thanks definitely as we are live on Calabash Television, the food of seven, basically bringing forward the whole truth of the matter because basically many people don't know what the truth is. People, you know, people just leave what they think is the truth. But the food of seven brings forward that truth of the matter when it comes to the whole aspect of we as a people when it comes to our overall health care or wellness and exactly what it is that and how it is that we are working towards reaching these goals the goals of uplifting our physical structure to the to the to the, to the, to the extent that we don't have to be dependent upon all these people for our overall wellness it is very important that as a people that we analyze exactly what it is that our everyday actions are. It is important that we have that full understanding or understanding that whatever experiences that we have had upon, I would say, as a child or as a, as a, as a young man or as a young woman, you know, uh, it is very important to understand that that incident, based upon how we feel when we reflect on it, would genuinely affect our life and the outcome of how our existence really is. So it is very important that we as a people, we understand that our lives, our present, the present, the now, ahora, abueza, yeah? the now is what we have. And it is important that as a people that we, we have that full understanding because at the end of the day when it comes to night, when it comes to night, just because we refuse to live in the now and take full advantage of the now. We then have to go through sickness and disease, both emotional, physical, spiritual, ephoral, psychological, I mean, anything that you could think about. You would basically be going through these types of conditions just because of how you deal with your present. Because your present now will become the past just now because you're creating history as you live. So everything that you do is like history. So what you did five minutes ago is history. That is your history. Right? Or as we would say, my story. You know, so it is important that as a people, that as we have that full understanding, as we fully examine our present reality when it comes to the fact that we are number one in the world with diabetes, number one with fibroids, number one with polycystic ovarian syndrome, number one with infertility. And the majority of us as a people, I mean, everything when it comes to the whole aspect, right? When it comes to the whole aspect of how is it that as a people, the whole aspect, that how it is that as a people, we suffer so much when it comes to our overall health, our wellness. I mean, we suffer, you know. We suffer a lot based upon our, 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 our health, when it comes to our, our health, our wellness, man. We suffer, you know. And the reason that we suffer, the reason that we suffer is not because we don't want to be better or because we were born weaker, or we were born inferior. It is because the majority of the things that actually are handed down to us. It's very important, you know, because many of these things, they are, are, are handed down. And 
and we have no choice. You know, you just eat it. You just drink it, right? So when it is that you don't really have a choice, I mean, the rice you get in the supermarket, you don't really have a choice. I mean, come on. You just eat the rice. You buy the rice. That's all you do. You don't really have a choice to say, well, you have a choice that you're going to decide exactly what it is that you are going to do or what it is that you're not going to do when it comes to the food that you eat from the supermarket shelf. The things that you actually consume, you have no choice. When it comes to your food, of course you have a choice. Because you make, a, you make that conscious decision to eat your food from that particular type of place. So, I mean, you have a choice. But I'm saying again, you don't have a choice. So, we really don't know. We really don't know exactly what it is that we are eating when we eat these things from the boxes and from the cans and from all these different types of... I mean, we don't know what we're eating. I mean, we eat... I mean, people don't know. I mean, when they say, well, you are eating corned beef, right? If you are eating corned beef, if people say, well, boy, you buy this man that you eating corned beef, I mean, okay, all right. You might be thinking that you are eating corned beef, but what really is corned beef? You know, so you don't know what is really in that thing there. I mean... You know what a cow look like? Just in England the last time, they had to um, shut down many different, many different places get shut down man, uh, in England and Wales and because they were actually feeding the people horse meat. Right? Many people were fed horse meat for, 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 for cattle. You know, or for beef. Many people. Right, they give them horse meat. So, if I am telling you that, that you don't know exactly what it is that you are consuming when you are eating the luncheon meat, or you are eating the, the corned beef, or you are eating the hot dog, you don't know what you are eating. Come on. And after all, they call it a hot dog. So we don't really have that level of control. Because if we, if we as educated people, I mean, you go to school and you study, and then you have a certain level of education. So your level of education is supposed to allow you to attain a certain level of intelligence. Knowledge. Intel really is, is, is knowledge, knowing stuff. So you know what's going on. I mean, you could be an educated fool. You could, you could be well educated. You could be very well educated. But at the end of the day, right, you are like what you call an educated fool. You have no level of intelligence. You're like a robot. You just operate. You just, whatever you learn from the system, because remember, you know, the system is like a factory. You just create people to, to clean the hotels and cook for the peep, for the tourists and clean their rooms and do their accounts and waitress and they call it, you know what I mean, and work in the bank and work in the office there and I mean just go and just fit yourself there and the rest of your life, you, every day you get up and you go to work and you spend 9, 10 hours at work, some people 12 hours at work and you come back home. And 12 hours is half of 24 hours. That makes up the day. Right? So, we spend our entire lives consuming things that we're not really sure exactly what it is. We don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. We just eat it because someone tells you that that is what that's there. All right? Now, at a point in time, everyone knew that food that was stored in cans was ration. Okay, that was ration. All right? So in case there is a natural disaster or 
for some reason you cannot get the fresh stuff, right? Then you get the ration, okay? The canned stuff, okay? And all these things in them little things pack up and zip up and tight up and all them things that were rations. These things, things put aside for, for, for hard times. Natural disaster. So, the things that we actually consume on a daily basis, really and truly, are the rations. The things that we're really not supposed to be consuming at all. So, where are we now as a people when it comes to the whole aspect of Having that level of self-love where we begin to critically analyze exactly what we put into our mouths. And why is it that we don't really understand that you are what you eat? Why is it that we don't really understand that the, the reasons why, the chief reason why there are so many sick people so many, so many sick people all around the world. I'm talking about him, not only in St. Lucia, you know, not only in St. Lucia, you know. I'm just really coming out of St. Martin, and I mean, come on, the state of the health of the men there when it comes to, to prostate health, I mean, it, it is horrible. Horrible, man. So, what's going on? Why is it that our people are suffering so much with so many different types of conditions? And then we refuse to, first and foremost, have a critical, very critical look at the things that we actually consume. Because remember, you know, you went to school. You know, you went to secondary school, okay? So then you still went to A level or some type of institute and then you still did your, your, your first degree and you still have your master's and all these type of things. That, I mean, plenty of things that you've done. So at the end of the day, all these things that you have done, you're supposed to have that level of intelligence. Whereby you could say, well, look, look, why is it that the, 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 the rice, you have the white rice, and then you have the brown rice, and then you have the white flour, and then you have the brown flour or the whole grain flour. And, and the whole grain flour, remember, you know, it, it, it's very important, man. I mean, come on. It's very important. Because if we don't really understand these things, then we're not really knowing what's going on. And, and I mean, it's simple questions like that you have to just ask yourself. Very simple questions. You have white flour. And then you have the flour now with more of the materials inside of it. They call it the whole grain. So you have more of the fiber and more of the, um, the vitamins and the minerals. and Right? So you have, many, you have all that stuff in it. Yes, yeah, still, um, when we analyze it, we say, well, look, you have the white flour might be $1, and then you have the whole grain flour might be $2.50. Okay, all right. Then the white sugar might be 90 cents a pound, and uh, Black sugar, the molasses sugar, the dark one, the black, black one, might be a dollar and 80 cents a pound. 
Okay? Now, if it is that we analyze, if it is that we really analyze and we say, well, look, the white sugar, right, or the white rice, why is it that they would sell the rice that has been processed less, more expensive than the rice that actually was processed more? Okay, just common sense. Remember, you're intelligent. You went to school. You studied. You are educated. So right now, you're getting knowledge to be intelligent. Or else you remain an educated fool. You would just be like a robot created to fit into a system whereby you just work and you get old and you die and think, think, think. You never even live up your pension. Okay? All right. So then you are asking yourself and you're saying, well, look, logically, you have the sugar. So they take the sugar cane, they squeeze it, they boil it, they make the molasses, then they put it through a process. The same way you have the rice. After they, after they harvest the rice, pam, pam, so they harvest that rice. Pam, 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 and they just take it as rough as it is with all the coat on it and everything and then just, just take out the, 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 you know, any kind of... Um, how you'd call that? Contaminants. That's in it. And just, just the rice with all the coat and everything on it. The shell looking nice. Oh, yes. Looking like, okay, alive. Like wild rice. Now, they take that rice like that. Just shake it out and, you know, and just take it out and clean it and ting, ting, ting. That's all. And put it in a package and call it wild rice. Wild rice. And if you get a kilogram at the supermarket of wild rice, the black one, that might really cost you probably all 20 something dollars. Okay, or more. All right? Now, so the cost of production of that wild rice. Is far less than the cost of production of the white rice because after you harvest the white rice, you shake it, you, okay, you shake the rice, then you dehull it, you take out the coat on it, take out the coat on it, uh -huh. so after you take out all the coats and all, you dehull it and okay, all right, and okay, bam, 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 so you have that white little thing there inside, just the carbohydrates, the sugar. That's all you have now. Then you bleach it. So you take bleach and you bleach it. Do it white because, because you want it white. White. When it's white, okay, white, white. So you dehull it. You, okay, you shake it out. You clean it. Take it all the time. Yet still, you take off the, the coats on it, the seed coat and everything, and you get it white. Then you bleach it. Then you polish it. Okay? Or you parboil it or whatever you do it. And then you call it white rice. And yet still, the rice that went through a lesser of a process is 20 something dollars a pound. And the white rice is probably 80 cents a pound. So then, if it is that we are really, if, if I mean really and truly, as, as a man that's in business, come on, I would say to myself, but wait, something is wrong. The wild rice, the, less work in that area. Just shake that and in a bag and sell it. So that's supposed to be 80 cents, and the white rice is supposed to be 50 something dollars because of so much bleach. But for, but for some reason, I don't know, for some reason, the white rice is cheaper. So, more people buy the white rice than they buy the wild rice. <laughs> because it's cheaper. So, 
Someone tell me, man. Please. Someone tell me, please. Whether or not that... Okay. You have a soft drink and you have a bottle of water. The bottle of water more expensive than the bottle of soft drink. Eh, come on. I mean, you have a bottle of soft drink and a bottle of water. And the bottle of water more expensive than the soft drink. I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking some, just some simple things. So at, at least, man, we could just look at this thing there realistically and see. Okay, all right. What's really happening? Okay. Why, is it, why, why are these things happening? Okay, all right. Okay, so we say the soft drink, right, and the water equal quantities. And the soft drink is cheaper than the water. When the soft drink have water, sugar, acid, right? Carbon dioxide, right? All them different things. And the soft drink cheaper than just the water. <laughs> Remember, the, the, the soft drink have water and, what, water and many other things in it, you know. Right? You understand? We have to really um critically analyze it. Because if we don't, we're going to be like as if we are lamb to the slaughter. Because you're telling me that the soft drink of sugar, it has water. It has coloring. It has all type of different poisons inside of it. All type of things. But yet still it's cheaper than just the water. So, you're telling me that, Oh, Gassam, I wear the Gassam. Things hard. You know? Things hard these days. So, you'll, in, instead of drinking the water, you drink the soft drink. Because number one, the soft drink is cheaper. And number two, Number two, it's full of sugar, so it's addictive. We have to really um, analyze our reality as a people, man, and, 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 and ask ourselves some simple questions because when I look at it and I analyze the, the whole situation, I myself just say, well, it must be that someone is really deliberately yeah, some, I mean, somebody going out of the way and make some huge losses in their business just to ensure that people eat certain things that that's not good for them. Because everybody knows that the white sugar is poison. Everybody knows that white flour is poison. You see, I mean, white flour is poison. White flour has no nutrients. And it's bleached. Okay? So... It's just like if you put in certain vibes. I mean, come on. If, if it is that you put in certain vibes, okay, I'm getting a call there, but I mean, Honorable, my Lord, give thanks, you know, but I'm live on TV right now. Honorable. Yeah, true, give thanks. I just answered the I call to the eye, you know, he's an he's a ancient angel there, Honorable Prophet. So give thanks for the man. But we're live on TV now, so I will send you the link so that I could, could look at it. Man, I know they're in Jamaica now. Honorable, my Lord, blessed, give thanks. I mean, so we give thanks definitely, you know. Um, I mean, Honorable Elder, you know, from London, now in Jamaica, just linking up. Because I have to really pass the link to the people because people call it and say, I mean, priest, man, come on. Where is the link? What's happening? You know, so let me make sure that people get, the, get, get what's there still and ensure that, okay, all right. Yes, I think that they have it there? I think so. All right, they have it there now. Yeah, so why is it that we as a people don't really at least just take a little moment in ourselves and say, well, look, right, right, come on. The people giving us the soft drink, if all them things in it, and the same bottle of water, right, more expensive than the soft drink, if all them things. And the white rice cheaper than the wild rice. 
and the white flower. Remember, you know, the whole grain flower, they just harvest the pellets. And they just, you know, wash the pellets and grind the pellets if everything in it. You understand? So you have all the fiber and everything. So, okay, all right. But the white flower, they take off all the coats of the pellets. Right? Of the wheat pellets. They take it out, the seeds. Then they polish it and do all type of thing, or they bleach it, or they grind it first, and then they whatever they do, whatever they, they do, man. But they're going to make it go through a particular process whereby it looks white, 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 and no fiber. And then the fiber that they take out and the germ that they take out, they will sell it to you as wheat germ and wheat fiber separately. More expensive than the white flower itself. Okay? So then, why is it then the white flower is cheaper than the whole grain flower that goes through lesser of a process? So the greater process it goes through, the more expensive it's supposed to be. Yet still, the greater the process it goes through, the cheaper it is. Something must be up, and then something must be up with that one there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I mean, come on. You're telling me that a bottle of soft drink, same size as a bottle of water, and a bottle of water more expensive than a soft drink. You're not, so, you're not telling me that you, want, you just want more people to drink this soft drink. I wonder why. I wonder why you would, you would want so many people just to drink the soft drink. When all of us know, all of us know that the soft drinks are dangerous. That's why they call them soft drinks. They get you soft, right? They get you weak, okay? So you just get your whole system acidic, okay? All right? So it burns up inside. You know, you never put, really take a, 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 you have an old battery pole and you, and, and, it's, and, and the lead is, is, is rusty or, 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 or corroded or something, I would say, or the pole is corroded, right? And, you, you take a Coca-Cola and you put a coconut and the Coke starts to eat it up and it starts to shine. Yeah, yeah, put a rotten nail in a bottle of Coke or any of Coke is not it and Sprite is not right. Have you ever put a, a rotten nail or a rusty nail in it? It, gets, it? it just cleans it up. So these things, they are very acidic. And we know that. So why is it that it's cheaper than water? Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure you, you're intelligent enough. Remember, you know, you went to school, you studied. Even secondary school was, is good enough for you to really know exactly what is going on. Even if it was secondary school only that you went to. You would know that, man. So I would say there, there is solid evidence that the system is designed to fail. So, they feed people. Remember, you know, remember. Remember, I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Because remember, you have, a, you, have a, you have your own brain. you educated, right? You have CXCs. Then you went to A-level. Then you went to U university, all right? Right? And then you have this and you have that and plenty of certificates on your wall. Yet still, you can't live past 25, you're dying of breast cancer. Yes, still you can't live past 41, you have prostate cancer. Yes, still you have a stroke on you on your other side on your bed at 45. Right? Yes, still you're 22 and you cannot have a baby. Right? So with all the education, we have lost that ability to take care of ourselves. With so much education. That's why they say educated fools. I'm not, I'm not being rude to you. you know. And don't take it personal. But you can't take it personal. Because, I mean, if you don't take it personal, how would then would you be motivated to change? I mean, of course, you could take it personal. Man. Go ahead, take it personal. Don't be an educated fool. Like a robot. Like you go to work in the morning, you come home at night for 40 years, and you get old. And the veranda you build, you never sit down in it. The couch you buy. Every other two years, you change your couch in your house. You never take a time and sit down on it and rust locks yourself. You understand? So then you become like a robot, like an educated fool. Your life just passes you by. And you're just there watching. You're watching your life. Hey, life. 
what you say you're doing and then you forget everything that you, because you're just there and you go to work and thing and you stress yeah <laughs> you get you stress and upset with people you go to work you know that is you 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 take your time out and you go to work and then you upset right that certain people right certain people not really checking on you or Oh, they're disrespectful or they're not doing their work. Why? When I go to work, they're not doing their work. Da, da, da. And, you, and you're stressing, you know. And you stay there 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours stressing yourself. So when you reach home now, you have your children, right? And then you have husband or, and, or wife. Okay, or you understand, whatever. I mean, I, you, know, you know how it is. So then you reach home now and then you're still upset. That's all, you know, that, that, that fellow man. And you, you talk, 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 and you eat some food, rush him, and you're talking and thing, and by the time you check yourself, you done knock out already, and then you get up in the morning, same story again, and that's what, that's what you call life. Right? So then, you now would get sick. Because remember, you know, remember, remember that, remember that the rice have to Go through a further process. More processing. To get white. So does the flour and the sugar. So by right, logically, it's supposed to be cheaper. No, more expensive, man. Yeah. Not cheaper, you see? Yeah, plain if you. More expensive because it goes through more of a process. So the, the sugar that, 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 that has all the molasses and everything in it, and they call it the wet sugar or the or the black sugar, the molasses sugar, is supposed to be cheaper because it goes through lesser of a process. Yet it is twice the price of the white sugar. So is the brown rice. So is the, is, is the whole grain flour. So definitely, man, they are, they are really um, working on us as a people. And then, we really are um, not attempting to get intelligent and stop being educated and we don't really now as educated people that that has now gained, gained intelligence start to begin to use that to actually alleviate ourselves from all the things that we are suffering from because someone is deliberately giving you things that they know will get you sick to the extent that they make it cheaper Right? And even here in St. Lucia, if you try to order health foods, the amount of duty they charge you is a head and a, and a toe and a nail and a... All kind of thing they want to charge you for a, a, for, for a, 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 a whole grain something or a little packet of quinoa. And then they have all them other things duty free. They cheap the, 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 the evil things. That destroy people. The duties are far less. And the good things, it costs you more to bring it in. So you quite tell me there. So if it is that we are really interested in the upliftment of the people, we would have been ensuring that the better things are always cheaper. But no. The better things are more expensive. Right? So... It's important today, you know, that as, I, as, as, as we go through this and we understand that there's a deliberate effort because at the end of the day, when you fall sick, you end up in the hospital. Who wants to go to the hospital? Everybody afraid of the hospital, right? And they give you drugs and the drugs say, well, look, when you drink it, you'll feel like saying, Geronimo and jump over the cliff. You know, you take a drug for depression and, and then it gives you, and then they say, it gives you suicidal tendencies. I mean, okay, you're, you're already depressed, you know. But I read. Every morning, you're getting up and you're crying. You don't have to go to work. And then you take a drug. And that drug would make you feel... Remember, you know, you're taking the drug because of how you're feeling, you know. You want to get uplifted. But after you take the drug now, you want to go over the roof and jump and shout your animal. Because you're taking the drug. Okay? So... We are in a, in, a, in a system whereby 
everything that you eat nowadays. You see someone with a big, big basket or trolley full up. And it might only cost them a little bit of money. And sometimes you have two, three, four things in a basket and yours cost you double what it costs these people there. You say, boy, the amount of poison on the supermarket shelf. And yet still, it costs in a way to fool our people. Right? So now, you have WhatsApp and them things. You begin to see things about plastic rice and all them different type of things. But come on. Long time the Rastafari tell you to plant what you, eat what you grow. So, we have to consciously examine the reality and see exactly what these people are working to, how they're working to destroy us as a people. So then, we would begin to organize ourselves as a people for the benefit and survival of ourselves. To begin to institute changes, genuine changes. You cannot tell me that you send me to school. My mother sent me to school. And my father. Not to just learn ABC, you know. To learn that, because I went to medical school and I learned that 85, 75, 80, even some people say 90% of people of African descent, Afro-Caribbean people, are lactose intolerant. That means that the, the system is intolerant to cow's milk. Yet still, yet still, after all that money you pay to learn at, at, at school, you know, you, and you're still drinking the cow's milk. Right, so as simple as it might seem that you're just sucking on an ice cream, licking on it, oh boy, that tastes good. You really don't understand that it's not that ice creams are bad, you know, but the ice creams that they create outside there really is created to make you scream for truth. Because We have to begin to love ourselves because there's no way you could tell me that an equal amount of water and an equal amount of, of soft drink, water supposed to be cheaper, when the soft drink has the same amount of water plus all type of thing inside of it. So there's a reason why you want the poor people to drink the soft drink. And, and all of a sudden you say, oh, why diabetes and cancer? Because remember, you know, cancer cells feed up on sugar. Okay? So you have cancer and you're still drinking all them soft drinks and all them different type of things. They're not knowing that, okay, all right, you are feeding the cancer. So you're rushing yourself to the grave. We really need to examine ourselves. Really, 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 really need to. And I'm not really trying to convince you, you know. I'm just saying that someone is really Working to keep us down, man. No, no, no disease have a cure. Every single disease, you tell you, there's no cure for it. Right? So, I don't understand. I don't, I, I don't understand at all. Because at the end of the day, we as a people, right, we as a people, supposed to fully understand that it is our responsibility our fundamental responsibility to uplift ourselves, to educate ourselves to the extent that, look, we can create the things we need for our own self. You don't have to sit down and wait for somebody to send down chicken for you, right? And send chicken that has been there for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve years, that them chicken pack there, and they send that for you, right? So the chicken probably older, you think chicken probably older than you, that dead longer than you. Yeah. Sometimes you, f you, 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 you 10 years and the chicken you eat in there, all 12 years in there. Right? And you, you, you won't get the fresh chicken at all. You won't get that. No, nah, man. So it's important. It's important that we analyze them things there because people are dying. You know, you know how many women are suffering from breast cancer and have tumors in the breast? You know how many men 
Come on. Them things that is big business now, you know. In St. Martin, they fly them to Colombia or to Santa Domingo and they pay the nurses and everything. Yeah, that's big money. Big, big, big money. Just because of the number of things that you have to go through just to know what you have. And by the time they finish with you, is that you don't have hope again, you're gone. So, it's our time now to make whoever responsible to answer some questions. So you cannot know that. Right? A processed food or processed meat can give a child cancer and still have it sitting on the school ground. You cannot do that, man. So, I mean, all these politicians and all these people there, and we have to start to do things immediately to see how we could safeguard ourselves because all of us complaining about the sicknesses and the, and the difficulty of the hospital, yet still there is nothing really prophylactic that we are doing aggressively to ensure that people have something healthier to actually take part in. So we give thanks as we are taking, we are due for um, intercession right now. And, you know, definitely, you know, we give thanks for all those of you who are here with us. Give thanks for life. Give thanks for all good things around us ascend from Zion above. So we praise fire, praise fire for his divine love. Give thanks. When you come again, we're going to open up the lines and take your calls. Whatever calls that you might have, come on, let us, let's talk. Not about only what pain you have, but let's speak about the fact that, that, you know, as a people, we have no choice in the things that we are consuming. Nothing at all. So they could, they could take people's finger or some dead anything and crush it up and say, tell you it's corned beef and you, and you believe it's corned beef. Anyway, so give thanks. We'll take an intercession when you come again. We'll open up the lines. Bless the Lord. <laughs> I'm innovative. Yeah! I'm competitive! Yeah! I'm productive. I am creative. I constantly improve what I do and how I do it. I am output oriented. I never stop learning. I give off my best, always. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, embracing excellence. What makes a great sign? Simplicity, creativity, huge and loud, small and quiet. At Excel Sign, we help clients all over St. Lucia create the perfect sign for their business needs. Our printing takes place right here with state-of-the-art machines to get the job done at the highest quality. We specialize in a wide variety of pilot signs, vehicle wraps, channel letters, billboards, 3D letters, and lots more. Designed to have high visibility, longer life, and great value. Call or visit Excel Sign today and find out how we can help your business express itself. Excel Sign, taking signs further. Do you think there is an area that needs a street light? Make your request to the Ministry of Infrastructure the agency responsible for approving new streetlight installations. The Ministry will review the request and make a decision. This may include a site visit. If the Ministry approves the request, then Lucilec will install a new streetlight. Hmm, wow, that got here in record time. Global Trade is about competence, customer service, built on a solid quality management system. Export is one way to grow your business. Come talk to the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards about getting on the international market. Call 453-0049, ask about certification and how it can bring you local and global success. SLBS, making quality and standards our way of life. I was in my neighborhood. It was a very dark night and I decided to go for a drink by a bar. On my way from the bar, I felt the sting to my right leg. And when I look back, I knew it was a, a, a full snake. You happen to be in an area where there are snakes and you are bitten by a snake. 
this is what you do. You call for help and try to reach the Victoria Hospital within one or three hours. You will be seen immediately. My uncle at the time was a police officer, called the um, Victoria Hospital and told them that we can be done for snake bite. It is the only facility on the island which has a protocol and a treatment plan where you can be treated adequately. We call them before you go there so they can prepare for you. And rest assured that there are adequate supplies of antivenom with doctors who have been trained in the treatment protocols of the snake bite. How is electricity produced from geothermal energy? Several wells are drilled hundreds of meters into the earth, into the geothermal reservoir. Successful wells produce hot water and steam, which are brought to the surface to be passed through a turbine. The hot fluids are used to turn the turbine, which is connected to a generator to produce electricity. The geothermal fluids are returned to the ground via re-injection wells. The Geothermal Resource Development Project is all about energy security. The more we learn, the better our preparedness for energy independence. A message from the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labour. We do give thanks for life and a mighty life. Give, give thanks for all good things around us and from Zion above. So we praise for I praise for I for his divine love, definitely. We do give thanks. Now, I mean, we'll open up the lines now, and those of you who want to not just ask questions about if you have a headache or a toothache or one of these things, we want you to be able to reason with us, you know, and Talk to us about what you feel about the type of things that they are pumping down on us here. And the fact that we find it, it is more prestigious to drink a juice with a, syn a, a synthetic and artificial flavor of orange than to squeeze a real orange and, in water or, and, and drink the juice, right? Which would have 100% more than the synthetic thing that you're actually drinking. Plus, the synthetic orange juice would basically, uh, they would say it is 100% orange, but it has no orange in it, right? That, that in, its, in its own self would basically be poisoning you because of so many different things. So why is it that we see that squeezing a lime or a lemon in a glass of water and adding a little honey or agave or nothing at all and just drinking it like that is poverty when that is really the more expensive drink because you're getting the really live stuff. 451-934-945-31730 definitely give us a call let us know what's on your mind and, and, and I don't want you to just to call and ask about headache and, and toothache. We want to talk about why are, are they feeding us what they're feeding us and why is it that so many of our people are dying of cancer. And we know that it has a lot to do with the amount of toxins and chemicals in the foods that we are eating and even the foods that we are growing. I think I've got a cast with call, call a blessed. Yeah, blessed my brother. Yeah, my brother, give thanks. Yeah, I heard you speaking of the, the different prices between the water and the soft drink. The reason why it is so is because the food industry was designed to kill people, to, to generate non communicable diseases. Providing clients for the hospitals, hmm. 
and the hospitals providing clients for the pharmaceutical industry. And the more so, it is a systematic conspiracy. And we have to make sensible decisions to escape that. Blessed. So, so before you go, before you go, what do you... F okay. Brother, go already, man, probably. You know how it does be with the little credit sometimes, man, but I know that you... you I, I, I'm sure that you would have had an idea of some of the things that we can do, right, to actually rectify this, because there are things that we're supposed to be able to do, because we know that, obviously, obviously, man, from the morgues and the, and the hospitals and the drug companies, and the, I mean, you know that there are drug companies that actually give their people some first-class trips and all them type of things. Man, come on, man, I mean, come on, yeah. So, I mean, we, we know that it is basically a... Cons and the conspiracy. Everybody know that. So, so you don't know that lunch and meat giving cancer, but they said it. Processed meat is as bad as asbestos when it comes to being carcinogenic. So, okay, come on. So if you take off all the asbestos off a school or off a hospital, why is it that you're still in this school, still selling hot dogs and, and lunch and meat and corned beef and things for children in white bread? You don't see that something not good if, 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 if that... If, uh, if. Come on. Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Come on, give us a call. Let us know what's on your mind. Don't make me have to just keep quiet there and, and just sit down and just watch, look at you saying. And you have to call and, and, and say something about what's happening. So you're going just to leave it for me and okay, I'll pre scale. Pre scale, Ash, man, give thanks for what you're doing and think, think, think. So what happened? You have nothing to do. There's nothing that you could say. So you don't believe that there's nothing that you could say that make more sense than what I'm saying. I sure have plenty of sensible things to actually say. Right? So. Call 451-934-945-31730. If it's international, it's 1758-451-9349. It is 1758 for international, 1758-451-9349. Or 1758 1730 Give us a call. Let us, let us hear what, you, what you're talking about, man, because I don't know. I don't know why soft drink cheaper than water. I mean, you should tell me. And, 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 and I'm just going to sit down there and listen for it. I mean, come on. If it is that it is something about my head hitting me, what I should drink for that, you call. But I think that people are supposed to be more concerned about them things, eh, man. So I'm the, I, I'm, the, um, I'm the only man that's supposed to be concerned about that now, man. Yes, go to the caller, blessed. Hello, good evening, Prince Kailash. How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Give thanks. Listening to you, a rather interesting program. I was blessed to see you today. Yes, I do. I do. I'm happy that you <laughs> did see me. Give thanks. I'm um, very happy. Prince Kailash. Yes, Honorable. I agree with a lot of what you say, especially with the sugar, the water, the flour, and so Um, You know, our problem with all of these things is not that we're taking it in, you know. It's in the amount that we take. You see white flour, everybody is saying white flour is not good. The whole wheat is better, the multigrain is better. I'm not saying no. But it's in the quantity of white flour we take per day. If we take white flour for breakfast, lunch, dinner, break, that's what's killing us. It's not just taking maybe a slice or two of white flour per day. I want you to, when I'm, I've left, I want you to um, speak about that. Um, we, we've made enemies with white flour and white sugar and these things. I'm not saying that they are good, but it is in the quantity that we take it. We take in so much soft drink. We take in so much. Even the juices that they tell us to drink is being sweetened with sugar. What type of sugar? White sugar. So I do agree with you. And, but one of the things that has been said a lot and I don't believe that, is you are what you eat. I don't believe that. Because I'll tell you why. There are persons who eat the wrong things. Yes, it affects them. It's going to break them down. It's going to affect them. I do agree. But their hearts and their minds may be even better 
than someone who is a vegetarian or who is a, a vegan or someone who keeps away from everything. It is not what goes in your mouth and comes out in your inner that makes you. It's what comes from your heart and what's in your mind, what you, treat, you feed your body with. When I say body, I mean mind and soul. I don't mean eating food because sometimes when you speak like that, you, make, you, you have a tendency to make people think that if they, they are looking a certain way, they're stupid, they're foolish. They're foolish because, uh, so if you see a doctor who is big, automatically he's a fool because he educated himself, but he's big. You never know what's the, what's the psychological parts of it. You have, you have not gone deep within. And so you saying that people are, f are fools, I disagree with that. An educated fool? An educated fool. I disagree okay, with right, that. Okay, all right. Okay, all um, right. So you, wait, I need wait, you wait, to wait, rephrase wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I was once an educated fool. Okay, all right. Now, you okay, are what you I will you listen eat. to you okay, off air. Okay, now, wait, before you go, before you go, be just yeah. before you go, you are what you eat. You said that it's not what that that you put through your mouth and comes out of the earners that makes you who you are. Okay, but but just in short, just just in short, we went to school to learn that proteins are utilized for building up muscles. Okay, all right. So then they say, well, you need proteins, so you have to eat so and so and so and so to get to get must to get proteins. So if your proteins are utilized to build up your muscles and you're eating chicken to get your proteins, right? That means that the chicken that you are consuming would eventually become part of your muscles. Literally, the proteins of that will be utilized by your physical structure to build up your muscles, right? So in a literal sense, biologically and anatomically, scientifically, you actually become anything that you consume because the reason you consume it is to actually incorporate it even your own being. Now, it does not mean that, it does not mean that that someone who eats flesh is worse than someone who doesn't eat flesh, right? But it still does not take away from the fact that you are definitely what you eat. And when we talk about educated fools, I'm talking about you knowing better, but doing the same things that actually would actually cost you your own life. Right? So it's not that you're calling somebody an educated fool because you don't love them. Right? I, if myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself completely. Prince but, but once, I'm, 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 I'm telling you the, the, the truth, eh? once I had education, okay, but the education I had, I was using it to actually destroy my own self. So we now must utilize our educations and don't become educa educated fools because you have a, you have, remember you have, a, you, have a, you, have a, you have a choice, you know. You have a choice to actually learn something and utilize it for your own upliftment. Or you could learn something and utilize it for your detriment. Okay? So it is not that you call him, you say, well, an, an educated fool because you just want to make somebody fool bad but i mean just english language sometimes people do foolish stuff prince prince Kailash, yes my beloved sister i think you're talking about um the the physical with the physical uplifting the physical but i am talking about the psychological and 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 spiritual yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you cannot be telling me that because someone probably is um have a problem with their health that they would be worse off and they not educated as in comparison to someone who maybe takes care of their health. Yeah, but they, no, you, they, no, they might be they might, might be, be able to they might be very educated, but they're not intelligent. Because remember, you know, there is education and there is intelligence. Our ancestors I do agree. Uh, our ancestors, our grandmothers and great grandmothers, they never had no degree and they were able to live 85, 90. The eldest person in, in Dominica lived to 125. Without, without even a secondary, a primary school education. So we have to learn to utilize the intelligence of our ancestors and merge that with our so-called education, what we learn to actually enable us to, to be victorious in this time. Well, okay? 
Prince Galas, I g agreed with practically a lot of what you said, but you see that part of it? Yeah. I just find that um, you it, it, it's are rough. a bit crude. It's rough, yeah, it's yeah, rough. Yeah, you are a bit crude. It's, it's rough. Because um, it's, it's rough. everybody it's rough. is not the same. It's rough. You are not like me, and I'm not like you. It's rough. You it's did rough. not have the same upbringing as I. I don't have the same upbringing as you. And it's so, rough. therefore, you have to be <laughs> cognizant of that. I, I am. You trust cannot me, just trust me, I am. I trust me, I am. You see? Stay you there see, you and, see? and assume I am, I am, that everybody I am the man. I am in the front man. of you. Sister, I am the man that people has come to with breasts that's rotten enough. Right? I am the and, and want me to help them. I am Please the man that I, I am, do agree. I am the one. I am the one that has sit down, sit down and listen to the worst and, and saddest and see suffering and see death. Right? And and I am the one that that, that sees and has these things. And because I see what my brothers and sisters are going into, I'm going to sit down here and just smile with you and tell you that what you're doing is not foolish. So you will just sit there and beat with an axe. No, beat no, down no, no. I should, I should down on a person. I show them plenty of love too. Don't say that. But Prince Kilash, I like to talk to you, you know. <laughs> it was nice having a word with you. All right, love, Okay, love, have love. a good night. Love, yeah. But I know, I, know, I know that plenty of people might feel offended if I say educated fool, but come on, man. So you expect me to be your brother or your sister and see you doing something foolish, I don't tell you. Come on. That, that's what you call fake friends, right? A friend indeed is the friend. Is, what the Bible tell you? Open rebuke is better than secret. Open rebuke is better than secret love or secret pleasures. So better you tell a man, veteran, you know what is foolishness, man? You can't do that. Then you say, oh, Mark, you look good. Come on, man. Yes, luckily we call her. Blessed. Yeah, good evening. Very nice program. Blessed love. Blessed love. Give thanks. Now, what do you have for yeast infection, please? What's that? Yeast infection. Uh, what do we have for it? Yeah, in local herbs. Well, I mean, um, definitely you must understand first and foremost that the yeast is a fungus, you know, and it's a parasite. So if you have a yeast infection, that means that you have a parasite that act, that's actually growing on your person. So parasites need specific conditions to grow, which is plen a fungus, plenty of moisture, plenty of heat, and plenty of sugar. If these conditions are, are good, I mean, they will flourish. And if your immune system is weak, they'll flourish more. So what do you do then? You ensure that the place is not moist. So you wear more cotton undergarments more absorption you know more absorption also what you do is also that you avoid too many sugary and starchy foods because that that, that serves as, as as food for the fungus and you boost up your immune system meaning that you consume lots of antioxidants and lots of vitamin c d and e rich foods lots of green leafy vegetables lots of your sour soap your exercise right and also what we tell people to do with this is that you actually like boil like a gallon of water and you chop about three leaves of three leaves of the aloe vera plant inside of it. And you could place about the 21 leaves of cassia latta. It must be boiling hot water. Right? Very boiling hot. And you put the herbs and the aloes inside of it in a bucket. And you sit over the bucket. And you don't you don't submerge yourself into the bucket. What you do, you just allow the the, the steam and the vapor to actually nourish the vaginal area. All right? Okay. So that's excellent for that. And then after you've done that, when the water has actually cooled to room temperature, you could utilize it to clean yourself. And then you apply virgin coconut oil liberally. The virgin coconut oil is an anti has antifungal properties also. All right? Okay. Okay. Blessed love. Blessed Thanks. love. Give thanks. All right? So it's important that, you know, you know, so you know that sometimes you could sound rough and all them type of things there, but come on, man. Sometimes, you see this old nice guy, you think, oh, he's, he's a nice guy. Oh, he's a nice guy. Oh, Mr. Nice. When, when it is that you have young children, have, 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 come on, man. You see, you see when you see nine-year-olds and five-year-olds dying of, of leukemia and, 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 and that lymphoma and all them different type of things there, and come on, man. We cannot, we, we, we really cannot, we, we cannot continue like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, I'm not telling you take offense, but I mean, you, we should take offense. Because 
we are so educated and yet still man we we, we the, the way that we you go to the doctor right you go to the doctor and then the doctor tells you that you have high blood pressure and you're going to be on drugs for the rest of your life and you, you accept that and you believe that and sometimes you have a master's you have you have a, a, a first degree you have a phd you know i'm saying that that through self-love through self-love through self-love self-love i love myself completely i love myself completely i love myself completely i love myself i forgive myself i trust myself oh oh give thanks for life right so at the end of the day because of that self-love we're supposed to be critically analyzing everything that we actually consume for ourselves so if it is that we really don't want to take this thing that's serious and want to joke it around, it's going to cost us our lives and the lives of our children. So, uh, so, so, so we're, not, we're not understanding how serious this thing really is, man. It doesn't seem like we're really understanding how serious this thing is really getting. We are talking about, we're talking about, Two out of every, right? We're talking about two out of every three women developing breast cancer. We're talking about two out of every three of them that develop it dies from it. We're talking about two out of every three men developing prostate cancer. And two out of every three of them that develop it dying from it. And we're talking about every two, every, every two seconds someone dies with diabetes. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, somebody died. One one thousand, two one thousand. Somebody else died. One one thousand, two one thousand. Somebody else died. One one thousand, two one thousand. Somebody else died. And all of us know that it is what we refer to as a non-communicable illness. Everyone knows that. That means that it's preventative. That means that there are things that we can do to actually prevent the death and the carnage. Of of course, of course, there are plenty of things that we can do to prevent the death and the carnage. So when I see that man, you are, there are educated fools, man. I mean, come on. According to the dictionary, it says that a fool is a person who acts unwisely. Okay, you are an, 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 an educated person that acts unwisely. That sounds better. Or imprudently. You are an educated person that acts imprudently. The common person who understand that. Right, the, the, the man long there, I won't, that, that I won't touch him because what, what does he know about imprudent? What, what does he know about, about um, being unwisely? But he, is, he knows what being a fool is, right? That means that you're unwise, brother. You cannot know that. You cannot know that asbestos, right? When you inhale it, it can give you lung cancer. And you'll still go and cut it and, 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 and be breathing it in like that. No, that, that's foolish. Come on. So we know that. So that it's imprudent. It's unwise. Okay, you're right. So you cannot have a PhD and still do something that you know that is wrong. We cannot do that. All right? So then we as a people must learn to collectively stand up against them type of things and be afraid to. I mean, you have a friend and you see your friend drowning and, and, and you, oh, oh. No, man. Come on. Yes, Carly. Bless it. Yes, hello. Yeah, my brother, bless. Yeah, I've been listening to you there and talking about all you're saying, and it makes so much sense because most of us go to the doctor and we have a, a problem. And we never, we tell the doctor our problem, right? Yes. But we never try and find out what caused the problem. You know, because if you do find out what caused the problem, how, how can you solve it? No, you can't solve it. Because all the problems we have with diabetes, um, hyperpressure, all them things, is a, is a lifestyle disease. Yeah. And I don't know why we're not educating ourselves towards that. And change your lifestyle. And just change your lifestyle. Yeah, just change our lifestyle. Yeah. But, and, and that is a simple solution. Simple solution. And the thing is, we say we are educated and we get, we get more fools and, and, and when they don't think they want to be offended because they think they're so educated and we're more stupid. You know? Because if you go to a doctor and you have a headache and the doctor cannot give you our two or three reasons that will cause the headache and they just give you one another, how can they solve the problem? You know? That's something I've been asking myself every day. If I go to a doctor, I have a, a toothache. 
and, and you cannot give me a solution as to, to, to solve it to tell me, okay, you have to fix, okay, stop the street thing. But you then just let them do what they have to do to, 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 to prevent it from putting you. But you just give you an adult and, and they tell you what to stop the, 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 the decay. Just now you'll you have, you have no teeth in your mouth. Precisely my point, my brother. You know what I'm Because if you have a, a problem, which is a sickness, the problem is not the problem, it's the cause you are, you are, you are to go to. Yeah, man. The cause of the problem. You know, it's true, I may not be educated as anybody, but I have a little mechanical knowledge, and I know how a vehicle works. <laughs> and you have to look at it as your body. If you don't change your oil, <laughs> the, the oil in your vehicle for a year, you don't know how black that thing and you come up, come up, don't get build up in your, in your, in your, in your, in your block. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know? So unless we make people under, overstand those things, we haven't under, because I think we under understand, and we cannot see on top of our head. Because we say we understand things, when you're supposed to overstand something, and know, know the first, have the knowledge of what we're talking about. You know, because when you, when you understand something, which means you have the knowledge, you, 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 you know what, 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 what it means or what it's talking about. But when you understand and, and you don't even know what it was going to say. You know, but when you on, on, on top of something, you're supposed to know what it means, what to do to change what, 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 what is wrong. But then if you don't know what, what to change, what is wrong, that means you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't understand nothing. Nothing at all. You know, to, me, to, to understand something is to know what to do to change it. To fix it. Right, to fix it. Rectify so it. I have, 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 have a clock, clock at least. And doctor telling you, don't drink turmeric. And turmeric is one of the best things that will send the blood to, to, cause, to cause the arteries to, 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 to the blood to move. You know? And they tell you, go, go and take a, 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 a drug instead. That will cause more side effects. You know? Instead of having you to, 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 to drink the natural thing, the natural herb, you know? That will thin the blood and automatically take out the inflammation in the body and have the blood circulation right. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't take a rocket science to tell you that the, the, the old people like that never went to school, live for hundred and something years. And we are educated, and we, we, we ever live to see the pension age? No. And you tell me we we, 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 we educated? And, and, I, and I see must be happy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I see so happy because they, they can't even give loans to the government, and, and we are just struggling. Yeah, because, <laughs> because, because people, people, people <laughs> dying and, and, and they're not even getting their benefits. <laughs> you know? I try, I try to understand how, edu how educated we are. You know, because if we're educated, we're supposed to be able to, 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 to do better, not not worse. Yes, my brother, give thanks. Don't give tell thanks. me you have you, you cancer, you have cancer. And doctor not, not telling you to, to, to stop eating sweet things, stop eating animal products. Some time to reverse the cancer. Kill the cancer. You have, you have to know what, what causes the cancer and stab it. Yeah, a, a woman, I was in St. Martin there, right? And a woman came with fourth stage cancer. Yeah. And I was asking her what she's eating. Um, and she, Victoria Collar, we're coming to you just now. And yeah. she said, but please, you know, the doctor never, t you know, the, the doctor tell me, go on and eat steak. Go on and eat steak. <laughs> I can, you can eat steak. You can eat anything. <laughs> so, they, they actually say you want to feed the cancer? Uh, uh, yeah, well, I mean. Anyway, nice to have you. <laughs> yeah, my love, man. Take care. Yes, old Victoria Collar, blessed. Sorry for the long wait. Yeah, good night. So, how are you doing? I'm blessed, beloved. Sorry for the wait. Okay, I'm, I'm troubled very much about this <clears throat> woman who called a while ago saying that she disagree with um, your statement. Um, educated fools. You know? <laughs> now if we go to a few passages in the Bible, right? There is one that says that um, uh, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Now who is that fool? You know it's the most educated man. Yeah, the right. man that is able to create a device that will take him out of this earth, put him on the moon. <laughs> and when he comes down, he'll tell you there is no God. <laughs> right? This man cannot see that nature, all of the things that he sees with his eyes that he don't understand, that was created by God himself. Yeah, man. So he's very educated, and at the same time, he's the biggest fool that exists. <laughs> you know, the man with intelligence who has wisdom will see for himself. Yeah, man. There is a God that exists. Yeah, man. You understand? Yeah. Just like the evolutionists. Yeah, man. If one of them come down here, you walk around the boulevard, right, and he sees the, the, that thing of John Compton that is there, right, and he asks a citizen, who created this? And the man says, well, this thing just happened, you know, the wind blew, the rain fell, and uh, that's what that happened, you know? He will consider this man to be the insane, you know, the most stupid man he has ever seen. And yet, this same man will tell you that human beings came by, ex you know, just exist, that nobody created them, they just come into. This monkey. has to be the most stupid, you know, educated, 
and mm. yet they are the most foolish people that exist. Mm. So I will agree 100% with you. Educated fools, they are among us all the time. Thank you. Give us my brother. <laughs> Love. <laughs> yeah, but they say man come from monkeys. I don't know why they still have monkeys. If man come from monkey, right now all monkeys are supposed to be man. So how many all them monkeys, are, why, why the monkeys are still not turning into man? All them years there, and man come from monkey? Come on, man. All monkey now supposed to be man. Well, they're, they're supposed to have no monkey if man come from monkey. 451 and we'll take one more call before we actually seal up. 451 One more call before we seal up. We have zero minutes, but we're giving you an opportunity to actually make a contribution. Yeah? You don't make a okay, alright. Well, give thanks definitely for all good things I sent from Zion above. So you praise for I praise for I. Oh yes, V Fort Caller, blessed. Yes, V Fort Caller. Yeah, blessed love. Honorable, give thanks. Yeah. I want to know what herb you have to use when you have ovarian cysts, please. Well, ov ovarian cysts, I mean, um, it's not just one herb you have to use for that. I mean, you have to balance out your hormones completely. I listen to you on the TV. Yeah, give thanks, yeah. Okay. You have to balance out your hormones. Taking care of all the ovarian cysts is balancing your hormones. You have to balance your hormones to the extent whereby you bring down your progesterone and estrogen levels to the normal levels. Right? So, we, are, we do have a, a package for that, a female package and a specific guideline that you have to actually utilize for that. Give thanks to all those of you who actually just w looked with us tonight, those of you on, on um, Facebook, right? Those of you that was live here in St. Lucia, give thanks definitely for the love. Give thanks for everyone who actually called. You know, we do give thanks for life. You know, give thanks for everyone that is continually blessing us up and showing us the love. Blessed love to all the people on Facebook. Honorable... Daniel, um, Valerie, Natasha Lake, give thanks. Uheru, give thanks for all those people who specifically. Kwame Abubakar, give thanks, Honorable Prophet. Give thanks, my Lord, for all those people who are watching with us. Give thanks for life and a mighty life. Those of you who want to actually contact us via WhatsApp, the number is 1758 That's one seven five eight seven two two three six six zero one. 758-722-3660. 758-722-3660 for WhatsApp. Or give us a call definitely to organize your consultations. Yes, so, I mean, the sister who said what she said, I, she knows I love her. I mean, she's my, my sister and I love her, right? So, it's all right. She, she, can, she can disagree with me. You know, I still love her and she knows that, right? So, give thanks even for the educated fools too, you know? I mean... Give thanks for them because they certain things that they still keep going. At the end of the day, saying that someone is foolish doesn't mean that you don't love them. It's just that you're showing them the foolish ways that at least that they can become wiser. Right? So, I mean, it is always important that as a people that we are able to stand up and speak to our people straight and educate them and show them love. And true love is basically being able to express yourself directly and tell it as it is. You know, as they say, open rebuke is better than secret love. Right? So give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. Give thanks for such a wonderful moment. Give thanks again for the almighty God, the ever-living Father, the ever-living Prince of Peace, Jah Rastafari. Blessed love, give thanks. After the first smile, that wink, the flirtation, even before the foreplay, and derobing, something else ought to be on your mind. Talking about testing your status and condoms, and medicines that treat HIV. So start talking. It's the first step in stopping HIV. 
a message brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Wellness.